They were just looking at the style. So was it a cute style? Was it not a cute style? And then they were going from there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually here at Arizona Mills, the Arizona Mills Mall, and I just dropped off my son. We are going to go to a buy sell trade store and kind of um, try to see how much money I can get. I have 35 dresses packed in my trunk and I'm going to see how much I can get for them. I was inspired by a few YouTubers out there who are doing the same thing, one being Mogi Beth who basically shops for items at Goodwill, takes them to buy sell trade stores and gets money for them or trades in the money for um, better items. So I'm going to see how much they're going to give me while I'm waiting for my son and his friend to get out of the movies and they want to kind of explore the mall a little bit. So I have some time and maybe I'll just explore the mall too, come back and explore the mall. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do all day while I'm waiting for them to um, decide whether or not they're going to take my stuff. So we're going to go there. I researched this place. It's called um, Brand Names. And I, I believe that's what it's called. I'll put the information here on the screen for you so that you can see that. And yeah, well, let's just go over there and see what we find and see if they take any of my stuff. So again, I have 35 dresses that are in my trunk. I have them in my pink totes that I showed you in my room tour. I'll put that up here if you haven't watched that already. And yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so this is the two bins that I have of mostly dresses, I believe, I hope. <laughs> Um, here is the store and I chose this store just because um, it has higher payouts, 35% payout or 50% um, cash, uh, not cash, but um, trade-in value. So um, I have a bunch of brands here like Eliza J, this is an Alice and Olivia, Cynthia Steffi, um, I forget, what was this one? This one's brand new though. It was, dang it, it's hard doing this one-handed. Okay, here we go. Oh, another Cynthia Steffi. So lots of really good name brands. I have Waif in here. Um, this is a Rebecca Taylor dress, um, some Urban Outfitters. So a bunch of really good spring dresses and you can see it's hot and sunny here already in the Phoenix area, so that's basically what I believe they're going to be wanting. Okay, so because this um, store is not buying today, we're just going to have to see what else we can find. So let's Google buy, sell, trade store near me and then decide where we're gonna go next. And it sucks because there was a Buffalo Exchange closer to me than where I travel just now, but um, I decided to try out this place because they did have um, higher payouts. So I guess we'll go to this Buffalo Exchange, but I'm going to call them first just to make sure that they're actually buying today. So let me call them right now. Okay, so I just called a Buffalo Exchange that was, again, closer to where my son is right now. Um, and they did say that they are buying right now. So I'm going to go over now to Buffalo Exchange, so the other direction, and see what I can get over there. So I didn't really want to try Buffalo Exchange because I heard they're not that great. But at this point, that's like one of my only options. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's head over there. So this is the reality of trying things out. Sometimes they buy, sometimes they don't. So let's just see what we can find or what we can um, get at Buffalo Exchange. All right, here we are. And there's like no parking because there's like a Vans event or whatever happening right there. But I found some parking, thankfully, just waited. And now let's go inside. Okay, guys, so I'm back at the mall to pick up my son. And um, so basically took in 35 items to Buffalo Exchange and they took three, a whole three items. <laughs> so, I mean, it's my first time and uh, my experience was that they took three items for $28. And what they took was something that was super unexpected that for me at least. So they took a two Zara dresses and one Topshop dress. 
And what I found really crazy is that they didn't look at the brands. I mean, they I think they spotted Topshop and, um, and what was the other two, Zara? But with the other ones, they didn't even reach in. I was watching to see if they would reach in and look at the brands, but they really didn't. So they missed on Rebecca Taylor, Alice and Olivia, Rory Becca, a bunch of anthropology brands. And they just kept going. So, I mean, they're really nice. They're asking me, like, what I was going to do um, after I left Buffalo Exchange. And I let them know I'm going to go eat. So they were really nice in suggesting, uh, suggesting some restaurants for me. But... That's my experience. Three dresses out of all 35, and they were amazing dresses, amazing quality, amazing brands. But that's just what happened. So I just took the store credit because it was either $16 trade-in um, world cash or $28 of um, trade-in value. So what I did is I took that money and I bought just, I traded for some other stuff. So two Zara dresses and a top shop, which don't bring in a lot of money for me. And I traded it for this Rag and Bone. The Rag and Bone jeans, they are the Dre style. I don't know if you can see that, the sun might be blocking it, but it says Dre. They're a size 26, so it's a decent size. And they just look like this. These were on sale, so I got these um, half off, so they were 20 bucks. And she mentioned that these were actually supposed to be um, given to their clearance center. And, um, oh, and they're just like a skinny jean with the rolled, rolled um, hem. So they, she said they were supposed to go out to their clearance center, which I found out is in Nogales, and, which is like on the border of Arizona and Mexico. And she said that everything's under $10 there. So that's two and a half hours away from me. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I need to visit this place because if they were gonna send Rag and Bone there and have it sold for, I think I read on their website, it's like $8 for everything or everything's under $8. So that would be a great steal. So anyway, I got these Rag and Bone jeans. I also bought these Paige jeans. Um, they're size 28 and I actually bought them for me <laughs> so um, I bought another pair of page jeans and I'll kind of put a clip of how it looks on me but I told you guys in my I think it was in my last video or my consignment store video that page jeans just hug you in all the right places and they don't resell for as much as they used to unfortunately but they do hug you in all the right places and these were no different so these just were amazing for me so I decided to keep them and um, I had another pair of page jeans that just don't fit me um, so I decided I'll just trade in for that. So I'll trade my pair of page jeans for these pair of page jeans. So that was my experience. So not that great. I mean, I could always try it again. And what I did find is that they were just looking at the style. So was it a cute style? Was it not a cute style? And then they were going from there. So I learned that I could, um, when I went around the store, they had a bunch of Target, like a new day. They had a lot of that Cupid brand that I always see and I always pass on. They're cute, cute things, but they're, they don't resell for anything, but they did have a lot of Cupid. They had, um, really some off brands and, and like H&M. And so you can really find these things. So I'm thinking maybe going to the bins and finding these cute things for a super low cost and then bringing it over to Buffalo Exchange to, um, pocket the trade-in value and then get some better inventory that way. So that's a that's a um, option for the future, um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking of just doing reseller boxes to try to move my things a little bit faster or even reaching out to people here in the local area that are resellers and kind of tell asking them, do you guys want this stuff before I post it? Because I'm really trying to downsize my inventory. I have way too much in my death pile and I just need to get it moving. You know, it's, it's, it's that time for me at least. So that's it for my day. Um, a pretty busy day. This is something I wish I could do every single day to really just focus on my reselling business, but that's not the case. So I did tell you guys on Instagram that I'm going to be looking for other ways to make more money, make more profit that don't require as much work on my part. So I have a new camera, which is, uh, which I'm filming on right now. I have new tech equipment and I do a lot of things at work that will kind of help me leverage those skills to reach out and or branch out and try to find new ways to 
make more money or make extra money. So I'm going to be sharing all those things here on my channel. So make sure you turn on those turn on those notifications so that you always know when I have a new video out because they will be a little bit different, not just reseller centered, but just really anything and everything that you that I know of, any ways that I know of that you can um, use to make more money. So make any extra money on the side. So again, look out for those videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you have any questions or any comments, then let me know how your experience has been with any consignment stores, stores like Buffalo Exchange. Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful sales week. Lots of sales days ahead and a great day. Mm -hmm.